his job was to level uh, characters and then sell them. So he would he would sell World of Warcraft characters, like the entire character and everything. He would make a new account and all that kind of stuff. All right, we need to take out uh, these totems because they're going to summon more Khazran into there. Summon their brethren no more. <laughs> oh god, that's awesome. That was his job, and he made enough money, not necessarily enough to live on, but it was pretty close. It was his only job, but he got supported else. But that was that was what he did. He played World of Warcraft and sold the characters once they were max level. It existed. Um, now, I assume that guy was trustworthy. Not everybody is. And that's how you get the black market, is that somebody will hack an account, steal all the stuff off the character, and then sell them for real money. And that happens quite often. I, I hear a lot of horror stories about people... A mighty adversary is before us. Oh, we got more wallers. I hear about a, you know, a lot of horror stories about people having their accounts hacked months worth of World of Warcraft work just out the window. All their gear is gone. Sometimes even the character is gone. It's, it's ridiculous. I don't even know why you would you would destroy the character after you were done with him. But that's what some people did. So in order to try to lessen that... I think Blizzard went the approach of, well, you know, this is going to exist whether we want it to or not. We might as well let it exist and try to make it safe and legal, and therefore we're going to need a cut of it in order to ensure that it's safe and legal. You know, making it so that it's real money that's being exchanged through the auction house does not only generate more income for the company, but it also helps, uh, I guess make it safer for for people to do what was already being done and it was being done uh, at the detriment to the player so it kind of solved multiple problems but there is still the issue of you know charging for real money for in-game items uh, something that is fake but then there's all this part of ownership that really I won't get into I think I've spoken on this subject enough but it was real interesting listening to uh, Gabe Duel talk about that so feel free to look that up it was the uh lbj school of uh, business I didn't get a chance to look at it it was like an hour long i found it on youtube well i didn't find it it was sent to me buttercrust sent that to me very nice oh shit another treasure goblin wow i don't think i've encountered this many in a long time no just leave him alone let's get this guy uh, it doesn't matter how many times you hit him, uh, once he opens up that portal, he can't really stop him anymore. Uh, so you're pretty much on a time limit when it comes to that guy. So you want to try to stay on him and do as much damage as you can. Once again, should he get away, he's going to take all that stuff with him and you can never get it again. My treasure goblins are. I'm very happy for that. Very, very nice. Unfortunately, I couldn't come up with a better weapon for the Templar. Uh, he's got a pretty decent weapon as it is. Which is alarming considering how poorly he's doing with it. And I would love to say that as we got to the higher difficulties you will see the followers start to do a higher percentage of damage. Uh, but it's not really a significant increase, I would say. I think my... My follower on my nightmare run is doing 30 damage, and I'm doing like 500. It's like, it's more. <laughs> Maybe I just don't, you know, give my follower enough stuff, but what, what am I going to do? I'm, I'm, I keep all the best stuff for myself. <laughs> and cause her altar, give me... Yes, more money. Once again, in Nightmare, I am finding stuff in the barrels and stuff like that. You know, actual items. So maybe it was just normal that was like that. That could definitely be the case. I have definitely found barrels and stuff uh, full of weapons and. The haunted manor. Of course, they'd be. Yeah, take out the dark cultists. 
Those damn Vortex cultists. Also, the... Um, cleave. I have worked it out somewhat. It does not actually hit with both weapons at the same time. It hits with one weapon and then the other. However, I still like this build for not necessarily cleave, although I probably will keep cleave. I like it for another ability uh, that does use both weapons. I figured this out when I got, you know, a lopsided weapon where w uh, my right hand was doing, I think it's 300 and something DPS and my left is only doing 80. So it was really and easy to figure out. You fight the darkness to contend with evil. Is the essence of what it means to be a Templar. A worthy quest. So it was really easy to figure out that, you know, one one hit was doing a lot more damage. It was doing four times the damage, like I had said. Whereas the other time I was doing just like normal damage for me at the time. Really easy to figure it out that way. So cleave one weapon at a time, which I think is fine by me still. Uh, but we haven't really gotten to a point where I would want to use anything else because Cleave is really the only multi-attacking um, generator that I got. Oh shit, you're right here? Then die right here. Oh shit, no, no, no! Get out of there! Those will freeze you. I just don't like to be free frozen. It's not that big of a deal. It's just that my character lives when he moves, so don't let him not move. That's a good way to get rid of me, is to stun or freeze me. God. Oh, you want to go? You guys want to go? The cultists were performing a strange ritual when I saw them today. One of their number stood soundlessly, while others thrust long spikes deep into his spine. He did not perish. And... I believe that he may have even been darkly empowered from the implantation. Though such terrible magic is foreign to me. Blood magic. We also got something here. There is a new piece to the game. A girl named Leah. My spies tell me she is the child of the witch Adria, who is hiding in the deserts of Chaldeum. Bring this news to the master at once. Master? Master's not in charge here. She's not in charge. What do we got here? Something else. The Oryx Journal again! A fetid, pallid malaise has fallen over the manor we now call home. Young Albrecht seems to be enjoying himself in our new home, however. Perhaps I am simply suffering from an imbalance of humors brought on by the recent change of climb. That is not how you spell humors in that context. It has the U in it. Whatever. There! A worthy foe! Well, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Now that I think about it, because I've only seen British people talk about humor. <laughs> I don't think I've... <laughs> this is so powerful. So good. So good. And what's in the chest? Not much. Anything over here? No. Let's move forward. He's unstoppable! No mortal could slaughter our brethren with such ease! I can. Then die well. Lord Belial will reward your sacrifice. He is here. I am here. Do you come and get you cultist dogs. Delay him while I prepare his demise in the depths below. Oh, she's got something for me down there, does she? Ah, I think we are starting to get to the end of the act. Hiding will not save you, Magda. Oh, I completed the quest. Need to talk to the wounded man, but first I will check out everything. What's he gonna do? Stop being wounded? He's fine. Nothing else? Okay. Now I can talk to the dude. How you doing? They did horrible things to us. Yeah, they do that. They're dead now. But there was another prisoner. A man in rags. Yes. The man with the golden eyes. I saw Magda take him into Leoric's old torture chambers. Below us. Magda dies today. Mm, no, I'm not probably not going to get to that tonight. We'll see. Though. We'll see. Right, we are getting further in, in the game. How much room do I have? 
Yeah, I might as well go back to town. And we will take care of this yet again. Just a couple things this time as well. Mostly I got two new weapons. Minimum and max damage. Each hit gains plus six life. That will definitely be beneficial over time. And more experience. Want to find more gold out there? Oh. A thief with you next time. Sh shut up, scoundrel. Nobody likes you. And plus one to four arcane damage and more experience and, and plus intelligence because I guess that matters too. And I gave one of my old things to the Templar. So he's now got 18.2 and damage converted to life, which I guess is okay. Uh, really, my plus six life per hit is probably better than 1% added to my life. Um, that that's probably true more than I would like to admit also I think I had said that you only need to repair when you died that is not true you do need to repair after a certain thing I think I went over that before but just in case I did not you do need to repair after a certain amount of durability loss there is still durability in this game it could even be said that it's more important, from what I understand, the, the lower dur durability means the lower damage it does. Halls of Agony! That sounds very familiar. Alright, now we just Able need to go... Wears no disguises here. There! A worthy foe! God! <laughs> so, so powerful. <laughs> Love it. Um, yes, this is definitely, definitely where I think it is. They are external. I am convinced that some malevolent being is attempting to wrest control of my thoughts away from me. Voices direct me to horrendous acts, and there are times when I seem unable to control my body. Lazarus knows. This is certain. He looks at me strangely when he thinks me otherwise disposed. I bet he does. I bet he does look at me strangely. I love doing this so much. Alright, we're gonna take you out. We're gonna take you out, freaking berserker. We have an unholy thrall, which I think is new. This might have been the upgrade that they were talking about there. That the, the guy got turned into. Nice. I pick up anything crappy? Well, I'm busy taking out torture barrels. This is going to be a gruesome place, I will tell you that right now. This place is is not a cakewalk. If you're not here by choice. Ugh, that's actually better than what he's got. And I know that. Oh, you can talk to him that way if you want to. I'll probably talk to him off screen just so I can say that I did. Fine choice. Uh, even though it's less vitality, this will probably help him in the long run. And No. Okay. I'll try not to do that too much on screen. <laughs> But every once in a while I go, ooh, that's really good. Especially if it's yellow. If it's yellow, I'll definitely go back on, on screen and go, ooh, look at that. But since it is random, it you know, it's hard to, to relate a lot of times. Oh, this entombed Hulk. This guy, I think, is new. No! We have taken that guy on before. We didn't get a lore for him, so I assume we did. I'm getting it confused because I did just kind of do this in uh, my other my other character. So you have to excuse me if I go. Oh, maybe we've seen him. Maybe we haven't. Hopefully, I can keep him straight. But the chances are very, very slim. <laughs> oh shit! We got another circle. You guys aren't summoning anything good though. <laughs> Stand in the middle of these revenge. Uh, this one unfortunately stays for a little bit, and I'll still summon for some things until finally it goes away. Still have to kill the guys in order to do it, though. Oh shit! I do love revenge. It costs no fury. That is one of the best parts of it. And there is a good reason that I think that is so awesome. Later on, we haven't gotten that upgrade though. Oh, don't hit that! Great effort brings great reward. Hey, level 15. So now we have another choice of skill. Massive blow or charges an enemy and stunning nearby targets. I think this one sounds better. Stunning an enemy. Uh, stunning nearby enemies as opposed to a massive blow. 
uh, because a useful skill. Most of this is spent with him, or with us, I should say, attacking multiple enemies. Get out of fire! Fire bad. It will do damage to you, believe it or not. So you're gonna want to stay out of it. They will teach you that throughout this. There and well. Let's just say the boss fight also uses fire, so there's no excuse for not you not figuring out the fire mechanic in this game by the time you take on on the boss of, well, this area. Oh shit! Treasure Bandit! Oh, do we have him cornered? Looks like we do. Down he goes. Nicely done, Templar. You helped me corner him. Oh, look at that! He's doing four damage! I'm so proud of you. You've grown up so much. Have I done it? Yeah. Yeah, this will probably link back up to the other side eventually, so we will head that way when we can. But for now, you guys need to die. Come out of the walls! What the hell are you doing? Torture barrel! Ow, oh, there's a no unit. This place is gruesome. This is not a this is not a place where I would like to vacation. I heard tales about the fall of King Leoric when I was young, but seeing it with my own eyes, it is another thing entirely. I'm sure it is. Uh, maybe it doesn't link up, or maybe I just went the wrong way. Well, it looks like this is the end here, so I went the right way because it led to nothing. How'd you go, follower? Huh? Weird. You just like work back behind me? I'm confused. <laughs> Whatever, we'll we'll replace him eventually anyway, as I've kind of already spoiled. There's only I will say this, there's only one more follower, so if you have played the game, you know which one I'm going for, and it's a pretty obvious choice for a barbarian, I must say. Let's just continue heading over here. Rusty door! What the hell's going on in here? He like torched them into the zombie. I really think. Oh. Oh. Okay. Must elect her. Part four. Though my counsel begs me to reconsider, I will continue with the executions of those I find guilty of plotting against the kingdom. Perhaps they fear my eye will fall on them and discover their heinous, treasonous plans as well. Lazarus is the only one I can still trust. Leoric's lost it, but I think we all knew that already. I, mean, I, did, I played the first game. I guess, I don't think Blizzard assumed that many people that played the first game would be playing the third. I don't know, that's just my general impression, because they do go into great detail about the first game. They don't nearly go into as much detail about the second game. At all. But in the first game, it's... I guess they're trying to bring it all back to a circle. Especially since they have uh, mentioned Adrian again. They're trying, trying to to give her that kind of some backstory. But they, you know, don't mention her too much. Oh, spike trap! And didn't hit him. These spike traps. I'm not exactly sure why they're there. Because they, I, I don't think I've ever gotten a hit on them. Don't get hit by the massive cleaver. I shouldn't have to say that, but I did. Because if you do, 2016. That's crap. <laughs> oh god, get hit by the cleaver all you want. Maybe not in the higher difficulties, but normal, whatever. Spike traps. And once again, it doesn't hit the guy. He glitches right through it. I don't, I don't see the point. Oh, it hits the enemies too. Looks like it actually got a couple kills. Damn it, I wanted that experience. Uh, if you see these, these are always the way to the next level down. Um, so if you're trying to fully explore things like I am, and you come across those, you know you want uh, you want to go the other way if you haven't fully explored it yet. And I have, so we're ready to move on. We're gonna get part five in here. Part five. Part five. I have finally rid myself of the dark influence seeking to subdue me, and now I see things as they truly are. This conspiracy among the insolent townsfolk to weaken me by stealing Aldrich away will not stand. Perhaps the heads of their women and children on pikes will bring them clarity. It totally worked for Vlad the Impaler. Why wouldn't it work for you? Actually, Vlad the Impaler is seen as a heel, like a hero in Romania. It's really weird. 
Halls of Agony. Oh, am I not? I'm not where I thought I was. Because we have to go through the Highlands Passage, so we're not there yet. Holy. Do you see that enemy over there? I do. We killed him. Ah, uh, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Take him out. Take everything out. Die. So I can go loot. Okay. They're dead. It's time to loot. So, these things here. I, I kind of showed them off. These burning troughs. You can hit them. And it'll shoot out flame, and then if an enemy's standing in it, it'll do damage to him. But more often than not, if I hit it, it's by accident, and I'm standing in that. Because I'm a melee guy where they're standing is pretty much where I'm standing. Ah! Oh. Try not to get hit by that in the future. That'd probably be a good idea. Oh, stun. No, no, no. Go, hammers. There we go. That is much better. Is there anything... Does this lead anywhere? Or does it just stop right here? It stops right here. Wow. No shit. I didn't pick up that dead villager. Turn him over for loot. 29 gold. Damn it. We need to pay your villagers better so that when they die, I get more money. Not that money's all that important anymore, but I'll take what I can get. You saw that I had, what, 170? Ah, oh, here we are introduced to the fire mechanic. That's what it looks like right before it goes up. This is misleading as soon as you step on a corner. Uh, even though it kind of goes in like a diamond, it looks like you could stand there. You can't. Uh, the whole square is lit on fire. So they give you ample opportunity to figure that out. That is very important. I want to say that. If you don't figure that out by the time you fight the boss that I'm thinking of... Which is not at the end of this dungeon, but a, a dungeon very similar to this. You know, that's really just your fault. War Axe, I will take that. And that is the way forward, so I want to go this way. Thank you for pointing me in the wrong direction. Because now I know which way I want to go. 